Hello and thank you for watching. This is SDSC back again with LEGO Transformers Elite One. This is a bit of a special video and a first for the channel. This build isn't based off any official transforming character or an existing LEGO Transformer OC, but actually fan art, specifically the Alita One design by the artist Cheeto. This is the first time I've built a model based off existing fan art, and it's something I've been interested in pursuing for a while. There's so many amazing fan designs out there, and I think it's really fun to try and bring them into the physical world through LEGO. However, doing so does present some challenges, as not all drawings are made with physical models in mind, or they'll use colors that aren't available in LEGO. For this project, I ended up modifying the color scheme so it would be easier to build. The darker pink became red, and the lighter pink became white. Alita is designed to be a space hero and transforms into a rocket ship. The original artwork pulls some kinda impossible warping and color hiding, so I approach this mode less from a perspective of perfect physical accuracy and more so just capturing the overall shaping and key details. The front has the red nose cone and yellow vent, behind which the top of the head pokes out. The sides have the rounded elements that will become her hip armor, and the ship ends in a set of x pattern fins. Ultimately, there's not a whole lot to say about this mode, and it's admittedly a little rough around the edges. But considering the smooth, cartoony nature of the original artwork, I think I did a decent enough job translating it into the blocky world of LEGO. Anyways, that's all there is to say about alt mode, so now it's time to transform. Here we have Alita 1 in robot mode, and it's definitely where the model shines. This mode got priority in terms of color placement and kibble, which was the obvious choice to make. As such, I was able to capture nearly all of the details and shaping of the original design. The feet were the first thing I came up with for this model. I'd been stockpiling these rounded pink pieces for a while, and I knew they'd be the perfect way to make the feet become the fins. The hips use a similar design to my G1 Shadow Striker, which allows them to compress in rocket mode. One of my favorite parts of the model is the way the nose cone transforms to become the shoulder pads. Initially, I was unsure how I'd capture that aspect of the design, but I think what I came up with is a rather elegant solution. The one negative is that her actual shoulders do end up sitting a little low on the body, but with smart posing, it's easy enough to hide that. For the head, I did simplify down the color blocking to an entirely red helmet, but it doesn't distract much from the look. I approximated the Tesla coil-like horns by using a pair of bar connectors and opaque Baraki eyes. I would have loved to capture the conical shape, but this is a fine solution. This was a fun foray into something I've been meaning to try for a long time. It was exciting to finally try my hand at recreating a fan design, 
as quite honestly, I think that fan art is where a lot of the most interesting Transformers designs can be found these days. If you're wondering if I'll do more fan art builds in the future, well, spoiler alert, I already have. And it's a partner piece to Alita, but you'll have to wait a little longer for that. So, I'll see you next time.